Welcome to Renovating a Mary Beam Engine, Part 4. In Part 3, I showed how the setting of the slide valve was incorrect, and here you see the slide valve correctly set, uncovering the steam ports the same amount at each end. And while on the subject of the steam chest, this was the steam inlet pipe. It was no good at all, it was soft soldered and it had broken off anyway. This was clearly no good, so I decided to modify the existing inlet valve. I did this by drilling the assembly underneath and tapping it quarter by 40. This will take a commercial union and this will give a much more secure steam or air inlet to the engine. So once this slight modification was complete, it was a simple job to re-bolt the steam chest cover in place using all these very tiny 8BA bolts. And here, if you look underneath the steam inlet governor valve, you will see a commercial quarter by 40 union. The timing's more or less okay. There's a nasty clunk I'm not too thrilled with, but I haven't really had much time to look at that yet. Progress has been made, at least it runs, which is more than it did last week. I've slowed down the video to see if I can find out where this clunk is coming from just by looking at the video, but no, it's not that simple. The engine is currently timed to admit steam just before top dead center, which should cushion the piston and the other moving parts. If the timing is late, then you generally do get a knocking sound anyway, because everything has to go to the full extent of its travel before the steam is admitted to the other end of the piston. The engineering standard really is very good on this engine. The flywheel is very true, no shake or wobble, and there isn't much play in any of the parts. Here I'm checking where the admission of the steam takes place, and it's within tolerances, but at the moment it is not 100% where it should be. In the next video, which is part 5 of the series, I will be continuing the renovation of the mechanical aspect of this engine. The painting and final finishing of the engine will be the last episode. At least it runs now, which it didn't last week, and it runs really well, to be perfectly honest. It's just this clunk's driving me nuts. So after I've phoned the Samaritans for some support, I will continue with the video series. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.